Josh Hammock um, of Bungie. He was a senior what was a senior gameplay designer at Bungie. Uh, he's leaving Bungie to go work at Bethesda. And now we all know Bethesda as the Elder Scrolls guys and the Fallout guys, uh, especially Fallout 3 and Fallout 3 New Vegas, which... They've had a couple other products, but those are their... their those are their big ones. I mean, those are their big ones. Bethesda's started to branch out a little bit more than they used to, but if you're looking at their staples, it's Elder Scrolls and uh, Fallout now. Yeah, I guess that's kind of weird. But Elder Scrolls, definitely. So, welcome to the neighborhood, Josh, because we're not too far from Bethesda. I can help you with real estate. If you want to ever stop by the house, meet Chewbacca, come on the show, hit me up let me know, Josh. You can come on. Yeah. And it's not that surprising that he, there's, I mean, the, the big it developers will swap around all the time between big, you know, big game companies, right? Um, yeah. It's looking for a new job. Yeah. And this, this, but this got me excited because there are certain aspects of Bungie's Destiny that I really enjoyed. The way they've kind of melded an MMO with an FPS has been very, very interesting. The way you can go on your missions, and I guess this is MMO stuff, and there's people all around, and you do missions with people sometimes, and and just I, I almost hope they kind of bring some of that to either Fallout 4 or really I want them to bring it to whatever the next Elder Scrolls is going to be. Uh, I just really, really wish there was some co-op in Skyrim. That would have been one of the most awesome things, going on missions with your with your buddies, you well, know. They're working on um on Elder Scrolls, or they have Elder Scrolls online now. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not, not down with that. I don't know why. Way, don't I don't way, know I see, why I, I see what love you the mean. number games, and... but I don't love. <laughs> if it's technically an MMO, not a big fan. If it's a game that has some MMO elements, I'm all in it. So so you're for the the Diablo route of you guys can share yeah. a game with like a few or other Destiny. people, but not the. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's designed as a one-player experience, but when you throw a couple people in, it's not. It it adds to it a little bit, doesn't take away. I just, I just like being able to go in and do some missions, do it solo, what I want to, and then say, hey, I either want to fight against somebody, or you know what, let's go on a bigger mission. And with Destiny, you can jump on these strikes, and they match you up with two other people, and you go, you have a good time. So I, I just really enjoy that, and I, I, I'm very interested to see, and if he is the senior gameplay designer, that makes me think that Bethesda's going to add some of these elements to one of their new games. Now, we're not Typically sure... You don't you don't bring on someone that's going to be paid that highly unless they have some kind of skill set already that you want, mm -hmm. um, that you're looking for, that you probably yeah. already have plans for using. They probably like looked for him because they had plans for doing some kind of game that uses the skill set that he already has. Yeah, and don't be surprised if they've already integrated some of those systems there, but they're like, oh, this isn't quite working the way we want it to. What game does it the way we like it? Oh, this one. Hey, let's go get, the, get that guy and come on over. Now, Bethesda, nobody's quite sure which project they're working on right now, but we know they're working on something. Uh, I'm hoping it's a Elder Scrolls Six because I'm a little bit more of a fan of that series than I am of the Fallout series. Don't get me wrong. Fallout was awesome. But I'd rather see an Elder Scrolls VI. Uh, but we're going to find out, and we're going to find out sometime soon, relatively, because apparently Bethesda is having their own panel slash conference, um, which this is the first time ever that they've ever scheduled their own conference. Usually they'll, they'll release news about their games through the publisher, like an EA or an Activision or something or like that. ZeniMax usually does handles a lot. Oh, of ZeniMax, that. yeah. Because that's their parent company. But. Yeah, so... But, um, Look for some, and maybe we'll get nope. uh, additional. I, I have a bad feeling about this, actually. You know what I'm afraid Why of? Why would you say that? I'm, Why would you just bring I'm me afraid, down? I'm afraid we might be seeing yet another MOBA, Dota, what I'm going to call a game. You know, the League of That's Legends not what Bethesda style. does. That's not how they roll. It's not what they do. That wasn't what, but that wasn't what, uh, uh, Blizzard. What's their face? Blizzard did until they're like, well, let's get all that too. Well, that is kind else. of what Blizzard did because Dota was like yeah, okay. almost basically, that it was, was a mod. Warcraft 3. It was Warcraft 3. Warcraft 3, but, yeah. but still, like, there's been that a lot of them. companies getting into that, that I, I just, I'm just afraid they're going to do it. They're going to be like, hey, look, look what Blizzard did. Look at what's, uh, what is it? Right, whatever. The, all the other studios have done that have been making clones of this, some of which have failed miserably. Um, 
let's do it. Let's do Elder Scrolls version, and maybe we'll throw Fallout. Maybe we'll do like Blizzard, but we'll combine Fallout with Elder Scrolls. <laughs> that would be an interesting combination. <laughs> um, <laughs> like nuclear base all the one side. <laughs> but what if Ancient what if Wisdom Tree? <laughs> what if they're planning this event for E3 to announce multiple games? Maybe that's why this is the first time they've ever had a conference because they are they have been getting bigger over the past couple of years. I mean, the success of Skyrim and the Fallout franchise for them has been huge. So what if they've uh, increased their they, development they have, staff? Um, added new studios, like new locations, uh, sites that they have offices. So they. Maybe they yeah. have. They're at the point where they have. So maybe they're on. Multiple. Maybe they have both of those games in work. Maybe they have, you know, uh, either a Fallout Four or an Elder Scrolls. And then you're right. Maybe a MOBA. Uh, we'll, we'll have to find out and see. But I, I just, I'm really excited about the future of Bethesda games because they are one of my favorite. They're considered developer, right? Yeah. Yes. Developer. Pul- one of my studios. One of my favorite studios out there. Not only because they're literally like 15 minutes away from me. That's that's cool enough. Because almost all the studios are out in L.A. somewhere. There's, or there's not, maybe not L.A., places. like Seattle, I'm there's sorry. Seattle, California. Okay. Yeah, well, which is, which is cool. Us. The D.C. area, we love that. But, uh, uh, but he just brings a certain skill set, like you said earlier, that I like to play in a game. To, and if he brings it to some of the franchises I love the most, I can only see them getting better. I can't see them getting worse. So I, I'm just I'm, I'm thrilled. Like I said, I'm, I'm giddy. I do want to see this. I want to see what he's going to do. But uh, let us know what you think he's, uh, Mr. Josh Hammock's going to bring to the table at Bethesda. Um, hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below, of course. At what's my face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways to get in a hold of us. <laughs>